Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're here with a course play tutorial. And if you're like me and love using American style equipment, uh, you are probably trying to use uh, the Wilson trailers that come with the game. And those double hopper trailers have always been a struggle to use with course play until now. We're now able to uh, both uh, dump from our grain cart off of the field and fill both hoppers as well as uh, have that semi go back to the farm and unload into the bin and empty both hoppers. This is also going to work for a lot of other things like um, taking grain to sell points is going to work with both hoppers on these trailers uh, as well as there's some advanced features that we'll get into where if you wanted to use it to uh, move multiple different kinds of grain at the same time, you can do that. Uh, and you can also do this with uh, multiple trailers. So if you wanted to hit, uh, or if you wanted to hook up uh, multiple gravity wagons and have all, you know, two or three of those gravity wagons unload, we'd be able to do that as well, I believe. For the purposes of today's tutorial, we're going to I'll be demoing this with the Wilson uh, two hopper trailer that comes with the base game uh, because that's going to be, I think, the most common use case for what we're trying to do. And so you can see I've already got a course play course set up here and our um, tractor and grain cart is going to unload into this semi, which is just parked here right now. And we did um, this in a separate tutorial where we walked through how to set up the uh, grain cart. And I'm actually going to hop out because it looks like I pulled my semi a little bit too far forward. And so I'm going to just back him straight up here so that he's in the appropriate spot so that I can unload this uh, grain cart. And so if I just jump back into the grain cart for a second here... We already did a tutorial on how to set up a grain cart path to support multiple uh, combines. I'll link that up above. The only change to this course, and this is thanks to uh, some of the comments on the video, is that we've set up two waypoints. So you can see these two parking signs. Those are waypoints. Uh, and that's going to allow us to have that grain cart stop multiple times to unload. Uh, and so if we had gravity wagons or anything else set up here that were spaced apart, you could set up a waypoint for each of uh, the unload air uh, unload zones that you want. Uh, however, we've got this uh, Wilson double hopper trailer here, and so it's pretty close um, to set up the two uh, waypoints necessary, and so we are um, almost done filling here, so I'm going to jump back over into the semi and um, show you how to set up a grain unloading course. So there's some new options in course play, and uh, as always at the time of recording, I'm using the uh, latest version of uh, course play that's available, and we're going to be using this first mode here I'm, I'm clicking off of it to show you it's called grain transport mode and so if we select this first mode um, there's some new options and so we're going to go to uh, this settings uh, screen here and you can see that there's this add new fill type option so if I was using this truck to unload my grain bins and take those up to the store I would select new fill type and pick what kind of uh, grain or you know seed or whatever this uh, trailer is capable of carrying. I hit start, and I would be able to then have this semi automatically fill uh, up to a maximum. You know, have a min and max, so that if he couldn't hit this minimum amount of fill, he's not going to drive on. And uh, how full do I want him to be? And I could set multiple fill types um, so that the front hopper and the back hopper could have different material in them. This isn't what we want to do for harvesting, though. So I'm going to um, I'm just mentioning it because it's a brand new feature that came out in the last couple of weeks with course play. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove this fill type uh, because we want to just empty have the grain cart empty into us. And when we get to 100 percent fill, 
then we're gonna go and drive our course. So with this set like this, we're gonna come back to the course play control window here, and we're gonna say start course recording. And so that pops up with our little arrow here. And as always with course play, you want to drive straight forward until you get to that next waypoint. And so see how that next orange dot showed up? After that next orange dot shows up, you can start turning, uh, but you always wanna try and leave enough space for you to drive straight forward from your starting point until at least that first dot shows up. And so we're gonna just drive up to our farm, which is right across the road here. And we are playing on the Minnesota Millennial Farmer map. Uh, which has been updated to include a course play mode for the main bin site so that you can unload using course play or auto drive uh, into these bins. And so I've already got that enabled. And so we're just going to drive right over this bin site. We're not going to stop. We're not going to do anything um, because course play is going to figure out where that dump trigger is automatically. And so I'm just going to drive this course and record the entire thing right now. And then once we're done recording it, um, I'll start it off and we'll follow along with the truck on uh, his first run just to show you how it works. And so you can see here, I'm trying to drive somewhat realistically and stay on my side of the road uh, such that if I put multiple trucks on this course, uh, I'm trying to minimize the points at which these paths cross so that uh, they won't run into each other as much. Um, course play can get a little bit interesting. And then you can see I'm driving a little bit past where my start point is uh, because I need enough room to turn this big semi-trailer around and get lined back up so that it's straight. And then my stopping point doesn't need to be very close to my start point. I can leave a little bit of a gap like this, and he's just going to pull straight up into that start point. So if I go ahead and start this course now, um, you can see at the very bottom of the screen here, it says manual loading, which is because I didn't pick a fill type because there's no grain bin or anything here to fill me if i'm empty he's gonna stop and wait for somebody else to fill him up where if i was doing this course to sell crops uh up at the store uh i would need to set a fill type so that course play knew what crops to get and fill into the semi uh, but since we're full already he didn't stop at that first waypoint he's gonna just drive all the way up to the bin site and unload his uh, corn directly into the bins. It looks like course play's got a little bit of a traffic jam over there in my field. And so as we come up to the grain bin here, you're gonna see that he slows down and pulls right over the first hopper and starts dumping out his uh, corn. And then what should happen is he's going to pull forward and unload his second hopper automatically. And you can see he moved up just a few inches into that um, trigger and is now dumping the back hopper. This is something that course play has not been able to do uh, up until a couple of weeks ago. And so I'm super excited that this is uh, finally an option again in FS19 uh, course play. Um, big shout out to the devs who are continuing to add feature function uh, to course play as time goes on here. It's, it's really getting to a point where I can do all of the things that I want to do uh, in course play now. And so we're just gonna follow this guy back up to the uh, field here. And what should happen is he's gonna get back to that start point and stop and wait until he gets filled by the grain cart. It looks like our grain cart is coming back down to this end of the field, but I don't think it's because he's ready to unload. I think he's trying to get to another combine. So we might have to wait just a smidge to uh, see the grain cart come back and unload into him again. Um, however, we did see that at the beginning of the episode. So 
Uh, it should just continue to work uh, once he gets up to his start point again. And so he's slowing down here as he gets close to the end point. He should get to the stop point and then just pull up to that starting point and wait until he gets filled. And just like that, he's at his uh, overload point. Now the only annoying thing is is that he's going to have that informational message down there uh, when you have course play on. Um, which is something that, you know, for me as a content creator, i um, not a big fan of the fact that the course play uh, notifications are there even if I turn off the HUD. So you won't be able to get rid of that notification while he's waiting to be filled. If somebody knows how to get rid of those notifications, I would love to know. So with that, I'm going to cut uh, forward a little bit uh, to the point where our grain cart has uh, more corn in it and is coming back to do the unload. So we've got another full load of corn here, and I accidentally deleted my course play course for the auger wagon. And so I thought this would be a good opportunity to just show off uh, how to set up a course. And so we're going to be in the overload mode. We're going to start recording. And again, right after we start, we're going to drive straight for a waypoint or two here. We're going to put out our auger so that we can appropriately determine when we start unloading so that I can set the waypoint at the appropriate spot. We're going to set the first waypoint about there. We're going to wait until the front is fully uh, loaded here just because I want that semi to uh, move on. Once the front's loaded, we're going to pull up here into the back and we're going to give ourselves just a little bit of space between these waypoints. Um, so he's going to unload or load the front hopper, load the back hopper, and then once this is full, um, we need to set a stop point out here. So Give it just a second. So we're full. That semi detected that he's full and he's gonna just continue on his way. Uh, but we need to finish making this course and so we just wanna pull away from these weight points a little bit, put him back facing into the field and hit the stop. And so that is how to set up a course play course for um, a double hopper semi to uh, take grain from a field uh, and deliver it back to the bin and then also uh, to set up the grain cart course uh, to have two weight points to be able to fill that same double hopper uh, semi. This should work just the same if you wanted to use three gravity wagons. Um, I believe the limit in course play is three. So you can have three trailers or one double bin trailer like the Wilson deck and a pull behind trailer. Um, you can have no more than three fill types to unload like this for course play. So with that, uh, if you have any questions uh, or uh, issues with uh, what you've seen in this tutorial, please let me know in the comments below. I do try to read uh, all of the comments and provide support to the best of my ability. If you found this useful, please consider hitting that like button. Uh, and subscribing to the channel for more content. If there is something specific that you would like to see a tutorial on, uh, also please leave a comment below. That's all for today. Kederk.